What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 14 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back guys, and today we're going to be predicting the Team of the Week number 5, which is going to be released on the 16th of all, um, October, sorry. And um, this week's Team of the Week features, I, I've decided to go for both, um, featuring an international week as well as some of the leagues. Um, some leagues still did play, such as the MLS as well as the Brazilian League. But uh, I mainly pick players from the international qualifications, uh, World Cup qualifications and stuff like that. No friendlies or anything like that. But uh, let's get straight into the players and into the subs bench. And the first player we're going to play here is a player called Awate. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. He is the Israeli goalkeeper, Dudo Awate. Plays for Mor um, uh, Morocco in the uh, Liga Adelante and... Um, and this guy had an absolutely fantastic game. Um, Israel played Portugal and the, the final score was 1-1. And um, this guy made, I do believe, made around like six or seven saves um, in their 1-1 draw with Portugal, which is a, f a very, very good result. Um, one against the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo um, and some fantastic strikers for, um, and attacking players for Portugal. And he did very, very well indeed. Moving on to the next sub, we've got a player called Lang, the Switzerland right back. Um, and uh, Stephen, um, no, that was the wrong Lang, my bad. Um, I think it is Michael Lang, this one here. Um, the Switzerland right back plays for Grasshopper. And um, this guy went out and scored a goal, I do believe, in their 2-1 win. I'm not too sure over the um, actual side they played against, but uh, I believe that was the winning goal to um, confirm. They actually won the division and went on to the World Cup. Moving on to the next player, we've got another um, wing back. And uh, this player here... Olsen, the um, Norwich, uh, the Norwich left back, I do believe it is Martin Olsen. This guy also went out and scored a um, headed goal um, in again their two-one win. Again, I'm not too sure on who the actual opposition team were. Um, sorry about that, guys. I'm not too sure on these international games as much as the leagues. Moving on to the next player. This guy, absolutely godly performance. And lost Townsend, the Spurs winger. And my God, did he play absolutely fantastic um, for England versus... Uh, what's, oh, God. England versus Montenegro. This guy picking up a goal... Um, could be an assist as well, arguable assist, as well as man of the match, I do believe, in their 4-1 win. This guy had an absolutely fantastic game. Moving on to a bronze player. It's this player called Menon. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. He's a Gambian left-wing player. Played for Vancouver Whitecaps. This guy went out and scored a hat-trick and got man of the match as well as well as MLS Player of the Week in their 4-1 win. An absolutely fantastic performance by this young player, aged only 19. Moving on to the next substitute, we have Bentner, Nicholas Bentner, scoring two goals for Denmark in their 2-2 draw with Italy, which is a fairly decent result. Um, and the, this guy, not rumoured to be the best player, but uh, two goals from against Italy is a fairly decent performance by himself. And moving on to the final player of the subsequent, so we have Jimenez, the Mexican striker. This player here, Raul Jimenez, plays for America in the Liga MX. And this guy, what a fantastic bicycle kick there um, to go and get them the actual 2-1 win over Panama, I do believe. Scoring the winning goal with a fantastic bicycle kick. And uh, that's why I put him in the squad. An absolute fantastic bicycle kick. And uh, I, I thought we had to go in the squad for that. Um, definitely go and check that out on the YouTubes. But uh, moving on into the starting 11, the 3 4 1 2 formation, as always. And in goal, we have a Brazilian keeper under the name of Cassio. Plays for Corinthians in the Liga do Brasil. And this guy made around seven saves as well as a penalty save in the 89th minute from Rodri Seni, um, the Sao Paulo keeper. So Sao Paulo versus Corinthians and also picking up the man of the match. And this guy did absolutely fantastic in goal. Moving on to the first centre-back, we've got a silver player under the name of Goncalves. I do believe, I think he is um, the Portuguese centre-back for New Revolution England um, or New England Revolution. I'm not too sure how you say it. Um, but uh, this guy scored a goal as well as a clean sheet as well as getting man of the match, I do believe, in their 1-0 win there. Moving on to the next centre-back, we have Ricardo Costa, another Portuguese player. However, this one was for his international duties, picking up a goal in their 1-1 draw um, with Israel, um, having a very, very solid performance at the back. His goal, the goal wasn't really his mistake, it was mainly the keepers, so um, this guy had a very, very good performance and could have possibly got the clean sheet if the keeper didn't make the mistake. And moving on to the final player in the defence, we have Komarov. The, um, this will be his second in-form card. This guy picking up two assists in Russia's... Um, uh, two assists as well as a clean sheet in Russia's 4-0 win um, as well. Moving on to the midfield. The first player we're going to have here is Robin. 
the Netherlands right wing player. And uh, this guy scored a fantastic free kick in the 90th minute as well as two assists in their 8-1 win over, I think it was Bulgaria, Hungary, is either Bulgaria or Hungary, I'm not too sure on what the actual squad is, but there's another Netherlands player in this squad, uh, Robin playing a very, very good performance in that game as well. Moving on to the first centre mid, we have Sami Kadira, the German CDM, this guy picking up a goal as well as a clean sheet in, I believe, their 3-0 win, I'm not too sure of the squad there, but uh, it looks like a fairly slow player. Um, there's very, very good performances by a number of German players in that game, you've got Philipp Lahm there, um, uh, Neuer having a number of good saves. Uh, who was it? Um, what was he called? Um, Schürrle. Andrei Schürrle having a fantastic game as well. A number of decent German performances in their World Cup qualifier. Moving on to the next midfielder, we have Javinho. This guy picking up um, three... Well, it could be argued as three assists. He picked up two assists and um, got a penalty um, for his squad in... A, I'm, not in I'm not too sure of their actual final scoreline and man of the match in Ivory Coast World Cup qualifier. Fantastic performance by him and he's been performing very very well for Roma as well and I can't I, I think this guy is definitely going to get an info card had a number of different weeks where he's had absolutely fantastic performances for Roma as well as um, uh, national team moving on to the final midfielder we have Elika Lavetsi um, the P Paris Saint Germain uh, left wing as well as Argentinian player this guy picked up two goals as well in their 3-1 win over over Peru, uh, I couldn't get that team. 3-1 um, win over Peru, but this guy picking up two goals and playing a very, very nice game indeed. And I think the two goals are some fairly nice goals as well. Moving on to the attack force here, the, um, let's say, centre forward slash striker, we have Alexis Sanchez, the Brazilian slash Chilean attacker, should we say. I'm not too sure where this guy actually played. I do believe he played actually as a striker, but he picked up two goals in their 3-3 draw against Colombia. Two very closely packed goals, some very nice goals as well. Um, uh, um, Falcao also picking up two penalties there to make the final scoreline of 3-3. However, I don't think Falcao is going to get um, an inform just for two penalties. But uh, moving on to the attackers here, the first player we're going to have here is Zeko, the Bosnian and Herzegovina striker. This guy picking up two goals in their 4-1 win. And uh, moving on to the final player of the squad, we're going to have Robin Van Persie, the Netherlands striker who went over, I believe it's Patrick Clark, Clark, oh I can't think of his name. Um, the uh, the old Netherlands striker, should I say? Um, may go in past his goal scoring record as well as picking up a hat trick um, in the qualification against I think it was Hungary. They're eight one. And uh, picking up a hat-trick as well as man of the match, I do believe. Very, very good performance by him in their absolutely stomping of the opposition there. But guys, that's the score. Let me quickly move it over to the screen here. And as you can see here, the, here is all the players with their ratings as well as in the uh, what they would look like if they were to get a team of the week. As you can see there, the bench. Um, you've got Andres Townsend, looks fairly solid. Oslo as, uh, Oslo as well um, could be a fairly decent BPL silver left back, sorry. Um, that Menning guy, I'm not too sure on how he looks. He looks fairly solid. Um, then you've got, uh, although Kobmarov, second in form, that Casio keeper looks fairly solid. Lavezzi, obviously, Javinho, Sanchez, Percy, Robin, Kadira, all really wanted players. Um, Zeko as well, the one who seems to always get international team of the week cards. He looks like a fairly solid striker as well, maybe decent as a centre forward. But guys, this is the end of this episode. This is the end of the predictions. These are my predictions, guys. And um, probably, I'm, I'm, I'd say, uh, this week was very, very hard, being the fact they would either use international or league, or maybe both. I'm not too sure. But uh, these are my predictions, guys. If I've missed any players out, put that in the comments. Any players I missed and why you think they should be on the team of the week. Also, remember to hit that like button. If you like this episode, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the upcoming episode of this Team of the Week prediction series. We'll be predicting Team of the Week number six next week. So be sure to come here on Tuesday um, past 6 p.m. probably. And you should see a new Team of the Week prediction. But guys, this is the end of the episode. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.